With only hours until the scheduled time to give the lead slain Tob Cohen a decent send-off, conducted according to the Jewish rites at the Jewish cemetery, the twist and turns following his departure are yet to settle. Uncertainty surrounds the burial ceremony following his widow's move, seeking orders to allow her attend the burial. The court is yet to grant her the request. It is on this Jewish cemetery that the late Dutch businessman Tob Cohen is expected to be laid to rest Monday afternoon, but family says the ceremony is going to be a private family affair. It is also alleged that Cohen's sister Gabriel Cohen traveled back to Netherlands soon after the will reading. This, even as a contest at the court on the late Cohen's will by Sarah Wairimu's legal team looms, Lawyer Chege Kirundi, who presided over the opening of the will ceremony on Friday, attended only by Cohen's sister and friends, said Wairimu's legal team had hinted that it will challenge the legitimacy of Cohen's will. The will was not tampered with, and I showed you. We were the custodian of the will of Top Cohen. The, whoever has uh, been writing has not quoted this firm having released information. We have no obligation as to what the, the Dutch newspaper writes uh, as Cruden Company. We do have a letter from Moro uh, insinuating that uh, he might challenge the will. So the matter remains within the court process. Werimu's party alleging that the confidential document had been compromised amid claims that the late Tob Cohen did not entrust even a single penny to his widow. On Friday, lawyer Kirundi dismissed reports that the will had been leaked, adding that even the contents of the will shall remain a discretion to the family. It is, however, alleged that Tob Cohen bestowed all his wealth of about 700 million shillings to his closest blood relatives. Cohen's widow, who is yet to be charged with the murder of her husband, is expected to take plea, even as detectives widen the net for alleged co-perpetrators of the murder most fall. Kamchemenza, Channel 1 News.